Howard Bryant was arrested for choking his wife in public and fighting with police who showed up to keep him from continuing to assault his wife and arrest him. That is the truth, okay? Howard Bryant arrested because witnesses called the police, said he was publicly choking his wife in front of their six-year-old kid. And when police came, he fought with them as well. You know what he got in punishment for that? Six months of probation. No jail time. No significant punishment. And he got to keep his job at ESPN. If you want to talk about a separate set of rules, a concierge lane, a front door exclusively for white America, well, guess what, Howard Bryant? You certainly got your own separate set of rules. You certainly got your own concierge lane. You certainly got a front door, but it wasn't just exclusively for white America. It was for you too. ESPN kept you employed, pays you hundreds of thousands of dollars a year despite the fact that you were arrested for choking your wife and assaulting police officers and you accepted six months of probation for doing so. Moreover, you even tried to say that it was racism for why you were arrested and then you apologized for saying that later. Now, this six months of probation didn't seem to have any consequences at all. In fact, just about everybody arrested for January 6th who you claim has a concierge lane, a front door exclusively for white America, they all got punished a lot more for walking into the Capitol and taking pictures of themselves there for trespassing than you did allegedly for choking your wife in front of your six-year-old son and also fighting with police officers. It's amazing how you could pin this piece when you have benefited from an incredible amount of privilege in your life. Also, he says, there are two rules in the United States, never directly articulated, but rife with consequence when broken. Beyond what the mainstream, which is to say white America, determines to be acceptable. It's forbidden to express humanitarian compassion and concern for the people of Palestine. First of all, that's anti-Semitic. Secondly, white America is not policing what people say about the Israel-Palestine related issue. That's just not true. But it's anti-Semitic because what you are saying is Jewish people control what people are allowed to say in America. That's what you're saying, Howard Bryant. That's what ESPN published. Again, not true, but that's what you're alleging. Second thing is, uh, universally understood it's career-threatening if you say anything to unequivocally advocate for black people. Unacceptable to unequivocally advocate for black people. Uh, that's totally wrong. The uh, NBA wrote Black Lives Matter on the basketball court for their games. They wrote social justice uh, slogans endorsing unequivocal advocation for black people at the expense of police on the back of their jerseys. All right? ESPN published, and there were also lies in here about the police that died at the Capitol on January 6th. All of these all of these are lies, okay? Uh, and a lot of them are, if they're not lies, really poorly reasoned opinions. And look, I don't really care about opinions. As my mom used to say, opinions are like butts. Everybody's got them. You're listening to my opinions right now. You may love them. You may hate them. But ESPN doesn't have a content-neutral policy when it comes to opinions. They stopped the women's NCAA tournament to protest the Florida Parental Rights Bill on air live. They have consistently allowed far left-wing political opinions to be spread, often inaccurate facts supporting those opinions on air, such as when Jalen Rose went on the air and said Jacob Blake 
had been murdered, uh, such as when uh, Jacob Blake was said, I think it was by Adrian Wojnarowski, that he was unarmed, even though he had a knife. A lot of things that are inaccurate, okay? But these are opinions. Sometimes there are inaccuracies associated with opinions. They suspended Sage Steele for going on Jay Cutler's podcast and saying she didn't believe in a COVID vaccine mandate. Off air, not inside of the ESPN content tent, they suspended her. Kurt Schilling was fired for saying he didn't believe that transgender people should be able to pick their bathrooms. Regardless of what you think on that issue, it's outside, on his Facebook page, not actually made public on ESPN's programming or any of their content. They just had an employee, ESPN did, record a video inside of their studios arguing that all men should be supporting abortion being legal in all 50 states if they had daughters. Now, I think Roe v. Wade, as I talked about months ago and have said for a long time, is a really poorly rendered decision. 75%, according to a new Harvard-Harris poll, believes that justices shouldn't be making decisions, that this should go back to the states, and that every state should make a decision about what they think when it comes to the laws of abortion. I agree with all that. It should be a state issue. Politicians should be involved in having to advocate for their perspectives. My perspective, some of you can disagree, I've said for a long time that I believe abortion should be safe, legal, and rare. I wish there were no abortions that took place in this country. I wish there were no uh, situations where abortion ever occurred. I believe that there should be exceptions for the life of the mother, uh, for, um, for rape and incest, okay? I also believe 100% in uh, the use of contraception, uh, in the morning after pill. These are my personal beliefs. And I also believe that in the first few weeks of pregnancy, a woman should be able to decide whether or not she wants to stay pregnant. Some of you disagree. I 100 billion percent repudiate the idea that we should have abortion up to birth, which is the Democrat perspective now. Again, every single one of you has your own opinions. Mine have evolved over the years as I've had three kids, as I have sat and watched the fetal heartbeat as I've had the opportunity to go and see what sex my kids were going to be through the sonogram, becoming a parent changes your perspective on a variety of issues and certainly being fortunate enough to have kids and go through, for me, three different pregnancies with my wife has really profoundly altered the way that I see the world on a variety of perspectives. Frankly, Before I had kids, I was very selfish. (laughs) You might still say that I'm very selfish, but I see the world now not only as an individual, but as a dad, okay? I also understand this is a complicated issue, and there's a variety of different perspectives, and I know that everybody can have a variety of different opinions, which is why I believe in the marketplace of ideas. And I think you all know That if ESPN had an employee who came out and said, I don't believe that abortion should be legal at all in this country, which is a very valid opinion and I certainly respect and understand it, that employee would be fired. But they can have an employee in the studios, on air, lecture every dad in America and say, if you are a father of daughters, then you have to support abortion being legal in all 50 states. I don't think that ESPN should have an official position on abortion, and I don't think that someone should get fired if their perspective is one way or the other, whatever your personal belief is. 